Timesheets and QuickBooks Desktop let you keep track of your employees' time so you can easily pay them or bill their time to customers. We'll show you how to set up employees for time tracking, how to set up and use a timesheet, and how to create paychecks with timesheet data. These steps work for basic, enhanced, or assisted payroll. Let's start by setting up employees to use time tracking. To do this, select Employees, then Employee Center. Double-click on the employee we want to start tracking to pull up their employee profile. In the profile, select the Payroll Info tab. From there, select Use Time Data to Create Paychecks. This tells QuickBooks to use the timesheet data for this employee's payroll. Select OK to close the employee profile. Now, our timesheet is set up and we can start using it. To do this, select Employees and enter time, and then use Weekly Timesheet. In the timesheet, there are several columns for different types of information. Each column is optional, so you can use only what you need for your business. For this example, we'll select the week we need to enter time for using the calendar button. Then select our employee Eric Wong from Name. Now, we're ready to start filling in our timesheet. This week, Eric worked 32 hours, and 6.5 of those hours on Thursday are billable to a customer. On Friday, Eric took a vacation day. So we'll use our first row to add non-billable time, or time we aren't billing to customers. Be sure to enter the payroll item because without it, the information will not flow to the paycheck. We'll select hourly, since Eric is an hourly employee, and we'll enter his time. 8 hours from Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and 1.5 hours for travel on Thursday. The second row is for billable time, or time we are billing to the customer. We'll start by selecting the customer from the Customer Job column, and the service item we want to use on invoicing and billing. Again, make sure to select the proper payroll item. Next, we'll add 6.5 hours into the Thursday column and select Billable so QuickBooks knows to include this time in our next invoice to our customer. Finally, in the third row, we'll add 8 vacation hours for Friday using a vacation payroll item. Once we're done, select Save and Close or Save and New if we need to do more timesheets for other employees or weeks. With our timesheet complete, we can now create paychecks using our timesheet data. First, we need to make sure our pay period end date matches the date on our timesheet. Next, QuickBooks prompts us to refresh the time information. Selecting Yes will add any timesheet data with assigned payroll items into the Enter Payroll Information screen. We can review this data and make changes directly in the check if needed before creating paychecks. That's it. Now you can set up and use timesheets for your own employees.